Let us start by recording and playing back a simple script. Note that Cypro is not just a record and playback tool. Recording is a stepping stone to creating automation scripts. It helps us learn the various APIs and syntax of Cypro easily. So we launch the dashboard and launch a browser from here. We can now launch the Cypro controller by either pressing the Alt key and double clicking on the page or clicking on the Sahi controller link. The controller allows us to play with the application under test while creating automation scripts. It is similar to the developer tools available on browsers. The controller allows you to identify elements, create assertions, execute code snippets, record sequences, playback scripts, and gives access to various functionalities of Sahi Pro. So let's record our first script. We'll give the name first script.sh and click record. We'll now navigate to our sample website. We can either click this sample application link or type in This is a simple web application which allows you to log in, add books to a shopping cart, verify the total and log out. Enter the username and the password as test and secret and click on login. You see that as I perform these actions, each step is visible in this evaluate expression box and all the steps are here available in the recorded steps. We see the simplistic shopping cart, we add books in specific quantities and then click add. This adds all the books to our shopping cart. In this test case, we want to verify that the total is correct. For this, we need to identify the element and create an assertion for it. So to identify elements, we press the control key and hover the mouse over any element. So let's do that. I press the control key and hover over grand total. It shows us the accessor as text box total. When I hover over this add button, it shows me button add. If I go on this text box, it identifies as text box Q2. So control hover on different elements allows us to identify the different elements on the browser. Let's come back to the grand total. I now click the assert button to get suggestions for different assertions that can be done on this particular element. So it shows assert that the text box exists and that the text box is visible and that the value of the text box is 1550. Note that recording this helped us discover all these APIs of Sahi Pro very easily. We can play around with the system by clicking on this arrow here. So it tells us that it's true. If I can change the value here, it will tell me that the assertion failed. Putting it back, all is fine. Now, when I'm convinced that this is what I want, I can append it to my script. Actions that we perform on the browser are automatically recorded. Actions that we perform through the controller using these buttons here or any of these drop downs, these need to be appended to the script explicitly. Now that we have added the assertions, let's click on logout and click on stop to end the recording. We'll now examine the script that we just recorded by clicking on the script editor link. We see that all the steps we perform are recorded as JavaScript statements here. The script is fairly readable. Also note that there are no complex expats or CSS selectors. Sahi so uses its own APIs to traverse the DOM and identify elements. Also notice that there are no wait statements. Sahi does not need any weights to be externally specified, even for complex Ajax applications. Let us play back the script that we just recorded. We'll go back to the controller and go to the playback tab. We specify the file and if we need, we can specify a start URL here and then click on play. We see the actions being performed on the browser. So now that it has succeeded, let's look at the logs. Click on the logs link on the controller and it will bring up the logs page. The logs page shows the results of all the executions of scripts. We can click on the script. All steps that we performed on the browser are visible here and an assertions are shown in green. So you can click on any of these and we can go to the exact line of code in the script. That's it. We have successfully recorded and played back our first Sahi script.